Alrighty ladies and gents, how are you guys doing today? In this video, I will be doing some speed tests, comparison with the 13 inch Retina MacBook Pro and the 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro. The specs are on your screen. To make it simple, these are the baseline models. Nothing has been customised and the first test we are going to do is a boot up test to see which one loads up the quickest. So one, two and three. I expect both of them to kind of load up at the same time because both are using flash storage but hey, we might be in for a surprise. Of course, both of them have the same files running 10.8.2 I believe the 13 inch was just a bit a tiny bit faster. Both have the same files, you know, nothing's you know different in these machines. So in this next test, we really should see the difference because I'm going to be using Final Cut Pro X and exporting these two same projects. And I see seeing a difference in a sense that because this is a quad core processor in the 15 inch, you'd expect it to export um, pretty fast than a dual core machine. So here is the new T5 which was launched yesterday and again both are the same files there we go and let's go ahead and export this in master file and we're going to use H.264 as I do want the video to export finish exporting sometime today so we're going to click next it's 286 MB on both machines and let's name it one and one and after three I think one two three and of course I'm going to happen have to open up the sharing tab because Final Cut Pro has just changed and there's already a 2% difference so this MacBook Pro is going faster let me show you and maybe if I drag the back end tasks from here if I can yes I can you can see the difference. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. So the MacBook Pro, wow, is race the 50 inch on the right hand side is racing ahead, 12%, whereas this one here is at 6%, 7%, and now for the 13 inch. Meanwhile. 16 for the 15 inch so there we go the quad core processor is definitely helping here and as they say time is indeed money so ladies and gents here we go the 15 inch is done dusted whereas the 13 inch retina is still at 25 percent man that was pretty beastly but then again you'd expect that simply because this is a dual core i5 machine this monster as a quad core i7. Oof. So in this next test we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS6 and I have files here. Um, some of these files are PSD files and they're up to about 200 megs, 300 megs individually. Uh, collectively um, I'm not too sure what the sizes are but individually there are some meaty ones here. So let's go ahead and open them at the same time. Let's see what happens. Which one does it first? And this one is a bit faster. By a bit, I mean literally a couple of milliseconds. And that is them imported. There they are here, up at the top. And just so you can see. So what we're going to be doing is basically exporting or we're going to be applying some filters to these and see how well they compare side by side. So here we've got this image opened up and let's go ahead, apply some filters to this and see um, what the speeds are like. Filter, filter, let's go to oil paint and kaboom. The 15 inch wins. Let's go to distort and sphere, sphere eyes. Sounds interesting, I think. Let's press OK. Hmm. Solarize looks like an interesting word. 15 inch retina slightly faster. Tiles. OK. 15 inch retina again, slightly bit faster. 
So here we have a rather chunky file size, PSD format. Let's apply some stuff to this here. Render and lens flare. Okay, okay. 15 inch retina was slightly faster. Lightning effects. Still loading. As you can see, the 15 inch retina won. And so in this last test, I've taken one PSD image and I've applied a filter to it. And we're going to export it or save it in Photoshop format. At the same time, see which one does it the fastest. And let's press OK on both machines. One, two, and three. Both are identical, both have finished. This was literally a few milliseconds uh, slower, but both are equal in that respect. Overall, the 15 inch from this test, as you can see, has performed slightly better uh, due to the quad core processor, and of course, when it comes to gaming and stuff. This machine right here, ladies and gents, is going to be a beast. I hope you like this video, if you have any comments, or perhaps you've done tests yourself, or if you've just gone out and bought a MacBook after watching this video, I want to hear from you. Which one did you get? Has this test been useful? And of course, I would appreciate if you can go into iGear.com, there's a few giveaways going, that might give you a huge hint hint. Um, but that is it for this video, loving my new MacBook Pro which arrived today. Um, missed it to bits and if you haven't seen the gaming tests that I've done on this they are on the screen or in the description below I shall see you guys in another life Cheers! You wouldn't believe me if I told you I was carrying with me today an iPhone 5 Passport Credit and debit cards plus some cash pair of glasses and your keys. Introducing the iGear T5. The T reimagined. The T5 is a high quality t-shirt with five discrete pockets and it comes in these gorgeous four different colours. No one else really needs to know what you're carrying in your pockets. Stay one step ahead of the pickpockets themselves. Attention to detail was key for the T5. For example, the fabric itself went through a special wash mechanism whereby it's more softer and comfortable feel. Alongside that, the actual placement of the five different pockets, the colour of the fabric, the colour of the matching ribs, zips, it all had to be perfect. The iGear T5 is now available at iGear.com, free UK shipping and we're shipping worldwide. Use hashtag iGear, let us know what you would do with the T5 and we'll be choosing a couple of winners over the next few weeks. So good luck!